When drawing the roof element, we want to make sure we understand that the walls engage the roof by 6 inches. So we're going to take the 9 foot elements. They were 12, but that was incorrect. We need to offset these 9 foot elements 6 inches. 6 inches that way, 6 inches that way, and now we can create a box. We do box from here to there. We want that box to be 10 feet tall. And then we want another box on top of that box, 6 feet tall. We can delete the bottom box because it does not help us anymore. It was just a tool. Let's verify using distance that this is 10 feet long and if you see that it's 10 feet at the bottom. Now I'm going to freeze all the other layers and just keep the roof. Okay. Now what we want to do is draw our profile. And that profile is going to be drawn on that face so I want to set up a UCS on this face. I want to now draw my lines. I need lines everywhere here just so that I can trace. These are construction lines. Construction lines can be made at any point. So I'm offsetting these construction lines 12 inches to locate my soffit and my point of intersection. And I'll draw a line from that intersection there. And now I can take this line, grab its handle, and it rubber bands. I hit the space bar. I hit the space bar and it goes into a move. Hit C and I'm copying it. Same thing. Select the handle, space bar goes into move. And if you continue through the space bar, it goes through various commands. Back to move. Hit C in the middle and I copy. Now I can trace with the P line the needed profile to create my roof element. Now I draw the negative space that's going to be subtracted from it and in this case I'm going to rotate the negative space instead of the positive space. So now I can extrude these two objects and even though I extrude them at the same time they become one object. The height of this extrusion will be a negative 10 feet and there we have it. One object two objects. Now for the sake of argument I'm going to rotate. I need a line to create my center point of rotation. I need to also change my UCS to make sure it rotates parallel to the world. I then say rotate. I grab the negative space. Could be this positive space. In either case you would be correct. I find the midpoint. Notice the rotation and I tell it 90 degrees. Now I'm going to delete the box because I don't need it now. And I'll delete a few other lines just for clarity so we can see the world. Okay. Now if, if I type hide, you now see the intersection of the two objects. I want to subtract from my main gable this object. Hence, you get one overall element that now you copy and rotate. So we want to rotate one more time, and we're going to use the center of the uh, ridge of the roof. Rotate, select the object, base point is midpoint. My UCS is already correct. You can see it rotating. We want it this direction. We want to hit copy inside of the command and now tell it 90 degrees. And let's type hide again and there it is. Let's union those two elements in order to see my valley. And let's type hide one more time and there is our object. Now let's turn everything on or rather unfreeze everything except for zero. And if I zoom extents and I type hide the assignment is complete. This ends the tutorial.